off the speed as well there, the, uh, the Jeff Smith colours of soundproof. Now, a bit of a difference of opinion here uh, as they make their way uh, down the far side over there at Dieppe as Tankerville has come right across to the other side uh, in the hands of Pierre Charles Boudot. So, uh, interesting. Is he doing the old Willie Carson Barry thing? That's for slightly older viewers who might be watching this show. Uh, Lord Bobby's up the inside, uh, followed then by Lilou in the red cap. Uh, the favourite's still got a pretty nice uh, position there. Ted de France uh, covered up uh, in around about uh, fourth or fifth as they begin to make the swing here. And, uh, well, Tankerville has gone on into a six or seven length advantage. This could be a very interesting move from, from uh, Pierre Charles Boudot, certainly from such an experienced jockey as they make the turn and head on down the side of the track. Crossstream is in second. One or two of these just at it now as they make the turn. Accio in the red and white colours now moves into second. Ted de France is suddenly being uh, driven along in uh, fourth position at the moment. The big white face and the sheepskin noseband followed then by Aragante who's trying to get involved as well but has PC Boudot stolen this aboard Tankerville? It was uh, an enterprising move to coin a cliche down the far side and he leads still by four or five lengths from what I can tell Accio in second then on the outer it's uh, cross dream who's trying to get involved as well but it's Tankerville who's still clear Ted de France is trying to stay on now Tankerville though Pierre Charles Boudot take a bow what a ride in second position there we've got Ted de 